Our problem since Brighton, we have not been able to put the ball in the back of the net. And at the same time, the defence and the selection has been all over the place. It's finished by Munich 1, Arsenal 0. Kanebi, are you as distraught as I am tonight? Well, I'm very disappointed. Um, I always knew that we couldn't win the Champions League, but like you said in your post-match, at least show some fight. Today we showed no conviction. We were we're not brave. We showed like we didn't even want. We showed like we, we we played like we didn't feel we we're going to win this game. And I'm not going to lie to you. Bayern were were there for the taking. We actually played well in the first half, and Martinelli takes his chance. It's a different game. Our problem since Brighton, we have not been able to put the ball in the back of the net, and at the same time. The defence and the selection has been all over the place. For me, Ateta, I don't know. I don't know whether he's caving under pressure or it looks like when it comes to the final end of the season, he can't just get it over the finish line. And I don't want him to be that manager. But back to back, this period is where we, we, we seem to capitulate. And the Champions League was always a tall feat, but we could have at least beating Bayern Munich at the Emirates. I felt this tie was lost at the Emirates with those two goals, those two silly goals, the penalty and the goal we dashed them. You know, we lost it there. And today, Saka, Saka has not, Saka didn't impress me today at all. Let, let's talk about Saka. Obviously, he's had a, a, a good season up until the last month, I would say. He's had a good season for us. But a lot of the team didn't play well today. But we've got to look at our, our star boy. He's the guy that we want to get us yeah, out of holes. Saka, what Saka, would you say Saka about him? For me, this is the time in his career where he's meant to be showing that he is a world-class player. You see the likes of Foden. You see the likes of Mbappe. Even when Mbappe was his age, Mbappe was showing that, look, I'm on fire. Even if PSG were not doing it, he was, he was still popping. Saka, for me, today just looked like a player that, um, they're kicking me. He's just complaining to the ref. He's just nagging to the ref. Bro, play the game. Messi was kicked all the time. Messi will stand up and continue. You have to play the game. You can't keep looking for the ref to bail you out. This is the Champions League. They're going to be streetwise with you. I mean, come on. You had Mazuari and Rafael Guerrero on that side. He should have done better. I'm very disappointed with Saka today. I'm very, very disappointed in our wingers. I think our wingers, they are our strength in attack. And unfortunately for them, they didn't play well today. I mean, Kimmich is not a natural fullback. Why is Martinelli not taking him on? Why do you think, what do you think it was about Saka that prevented him from going at his man often today? What do you think it was? I don't know if, if it's the fact that he's playing with an injury, but against Brighton he looked good, or the fact that once Saka is frustrated, once you kick Saka one, two, three times, four times, you might take him out of the game because mentally you're in his head. He now starts arguing with the referee because he, he feels he deserves more protection. But brother, this is football. This is a physical sport. You have to show... You can be physical enough to get the, to get things going. I'm very very disappointed in our team today. Odegaard Odegaard played okay, but I felt that Odegaard once again he takes too many touches on the ball. Yeah, with the ball, he had a chance with Manuel Noah. Why are you taking it to your right leg? Go across goal. We want to show we can play football all the time, and that is our issue. Sometimes, be streetwise. Bayern Munich had the better players. Be man direct. Bayern Munich had the players man for man, but they came with a sit back counter kill us now. That's what they did. Do you, do you think it was more the manager's lack of experience tonight or was it the players more tonight? I think it's both of them. It's the manager and the players. The manager himself, he knows he has a player called Gabriel Jesus who is doing well. Play him in the Champions League. Kai is your man for Premier League. Do you get what I'm saying? He's always chopping and changing. And once he gets a bad result like this, I thought I would just... Do you understand? Trossard scored against Bayern Munich the last game. Start him. Play party. Jorginho today was just once you just touch book, man. You don't you don't you don't pass Jorginho. But like I said, lack of experience. We all boil it down to lack of experience, not being brave, not no conviction and believing in yourself. Hopefully they'll learn for it. But the most important thing now is how do we recover from this? Do you, do you think it's um, a lack of experience that's made Arteta? which is very different to Pep, misuse his squad rotation in this business end of the season? Is that what's cost us in the last month? I think the problem is Ateta has not even used his squad too much. And that is inexperience. Like, Pate is fit. Why are you not playing him? I'm sure Timba has been back fit. 
You can't tell me he still has that ACL injury. Play him. Tomiyasu has not played for how many days? You've changed Zichenko, Kiwo, Tomiyasu in the space of two weeks. That left back position, he has rotated three players. That's to show you that he's not stable right now. That is my issue with him. Towards the end of the end finish line, like you know when he started playing party at right back mm -hmm. after we lost to these guys. My problem is that he's not tinkering too much. Why are you changing it? Aston Villa, he changed. Okay, now you have played Kai. You need a player that is going to get out these guys. You can play against Daya and them. Who was the other guy? Get, yeah. out, get out these guys. Not, it's not physicality because those guys are physical too. Get out these guys. But unfortunately, he will learn. And um, I know they're going to roast us, but these boys are still kids. The Champions League was always going to be a tough feat for us. But the way we went out, I'm not really happy because I felt that we could have at least done perform better. Bayern Munich were there for the taking. I'm not yeah. going to lie to you. They were yeah. there for the taking. Let's, let's be honest. No one expected Arsenal to even get this far. But that being said, is this Arsenal season over? It's not over. We still have the Premier League to play for. One point behind. Um, is it one point or two points? Two points. Two points behind City. We have the better goal difference. One slip up from City, we're back in it. So it's not yet over. City, they are still in the Champions League for now. There's still a lot to play for. The issue now is mentally, how are these boys going to recover? Because it's been three games, three heavy blows. They need to stand up. They need to show that they want to win something. If not, it's going to be, oh, they're a good team, but they bottle it at the end, which is which I don't like because they're inexperienced and to be honest with you, Arsenal is the team that we don't have the likes of Haaland, Salah, but we are still competing. You know, but it's all good. On to the next one. Next up, we'll go. Gunners for life, baby. Yes.